When you start Parted Magic, you get a boot menu. You can run it from RAM or as a live version. You can use an alternate graphic server if uh, the boot process will not work properly or use a failsafe menu, e.g. if you have a Toshiba satellite laptop or Fujitsu Siemens or if you have special graphic cards, this might help. Or if you have a Pentium 4, an older version, you can try this option. I will run it from RAM. I have more than 300 megabyte in English and later switch to German keyboard. The boot process will take a while. This gives me some time to explain about the version of Partic Magic. Please use, use the release not younger than October 2012. Before that, non-PAE and PAE CPU were supported. Later version only support PAE processors. I will explain later uh, what it means. Now the boot will take some time. At the end the CD, it, the ISO CD is ejected or if you used an USB stick to boot you can remove it and then you will get a complete desktop with a lot of programs and functionality but we will use only few of those. So here is the user interface. There is a tool for to erase the disk. You can use this if you prefer to have a graphic interface or if you want to use a terminal. Um, you can use here the terminal. I switched to German keyboard before. Depends on the keyboard you are using. And now sudo shred def sda minus v minus f. This statement will start to override the hard disk with random data for three times. Enter and it will run for about an hour. I will skip that. I have done the data deletion, deletion before. Now you have to check the hardware. As I explained, go to processor capabilities and check if in this list PAE is mentioned or not. If not, it's a non-PAE processor, but here we can see PAE. So we start disk cloning device image. You can use a server or I use a local device, a USB disk. Now connect it, not before. Wait for five seconds so the system can recognize the hard disk and mount it. Now you can see the external disk. Top directory. Continue, you have to press enter. Important to select the expert mode and restore disk because it's a complete image. Now select the image depending on your CPU, PAE or non-PAE the disk to install and now very important activate the ICDS option by pressing blank and this uh, will make sure that there is no error if the former disk drive is was larger than your target disk. Now you confirm that you really want to install and it will start the process which will run for 15 minutes up to an hour depending on your hardware. I will shorten this process a little bit. I will jump in the video to the end of the installation process, not to bore you.
so the installation process is more or less coming to an end. It is checking now if all data was installed correctly. And if the boot information to start the system is also stored properly. If all these checking is finished, you get a message and just press enter to leave Clonezilla. So press enter just to continue. And now we have to adapt the size of the partitions. There is also a tool on the desktop called Partition Editor. Just start it. Move the swap to the end of the disk and adapt the size to the size of your RAM, of your memory. Default is 750, but this machine has 1250 megabyte. So you can see it here. Resize and also resize the first data partition. Please don't move the partition itself, just the right side. Apply. This will run a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your hardware. And after that, the system is ready to be rebooted and used. There are some final steps which are necessary, but this will be explained in another video tutorial. So thank you for your interest. And at the end, just close the process, log out and reboot or in our case shutdowns. Thank you.